All right, everyone, in this video, I want to talk about a mistake that I see a lot of people make, which is removing your retainer when you start down this path of mewing and adult expansion. We have retainers usually in the form of a wire behind our teeth um, on the upper and the lower after our childhood orthodontics, oftentimes after we've had extractions and they've uh, used orthodontics in our childhood to make our mouths and our jaws smaller. Then we discover jaw hacking as teens or young adults. And we say, well, you know, my childhood orthodontics was evil and destructive. And this retainer in my mouth is a remnant of that. So this retainer must be bad. And it must be limiting my ability to grow my own jaws using my tongue and mewing. So I'm going to remove it. Well, this is a bad idea. Okay, I did this. And saw very negative results from it. Basically, my maxilla especially collapsed in the teeth basically fall apart, okay, like a, like a, like a, you know, like a landslide of teeth. And, and it happens very quickly too, okay, in just a, just a year or two, you go from having really, at least really nice teeth following your childhood orthodontics, even though the foundation beneath those teeth is basically bunk and small and collapsed, at least you have straight teeth that look nice. Well, then when you pull the retainer, rather than you being able to mew your jaws bigger like you would expect, you think this retainer is acting as some limiting factor that's holding your teeth in, right? That's gonna prevent them from expanding out when you mew, but the opposite happens. The retainer shows your true colors, which is that you cannot expand your teeth or expand your jaw by mewing alone as a late teen or even as an adult. And we see the teeth collapse when the retainer is removed. I've seen this not just in myself, but probably in a dozen or so people that I've consulted with over the last so many years. And just today, I had a young man, a great kid uh, down in Texas, shout out to you, you know who you are. Um, Josh, and he was a good dude, awesome dude, but he did what I did, which is that when he discovered mewing, he pulled his retainers. And within a year or two, his teeth collapsed in. I saw it today, um, you know, and he's got to go, he's got to go in for more orthodontics now. Now, even if he didn't pull the retainer, he would have needed an MSE and resultant orthodontics because MSE makes a mess out of your mouth. And you're going to need braces or Invisalign or something of that sort, regardless after you do an MSE. But having pulled his retainer, it did make things worse. If he had kept his retainer in, his teeth would have been straighter and there would have been less post MSE orthodontics to do. And there possibly would have been even more space for the MSE to be placed at all. So in summary, do not pull your retainer when you discover mewing. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I know your childhood orthodontics sucked and um, most of what happened during that treatment was negative, but the retainer is at least holding the straightness of your teeth in place and preventing them from collapsing in even more. Do not overestimate the power of mewing because chances are, if you are stumbling onto this content, your maxilla is too small. You're stuck in the mewing catch 22. If you don't know what that is, see my video from two weeks ago. Basically, in order to be able to mew in the first place, your maxilla needs to be big enough. If you don't have the hardware to be able to mew, if you don't have a sufficient space, sufficient space to mew at all, the mewing is going to be ineffective. So we need artificial expansion before we can mew with good effect. That's why my, uh, my motto when it comes to mewing is that mewing is necessary but not sufficient, which means that mewing is necessary to retain expansion. It's necessary to tone facial muscles. It's necessary to train your tongue to keep up on the roof of your mouth so that you can become a nasal breather. All right, it's necessary for strengthening your, your neck because when we press the tongue up on the roof of our mouth, our, our neck gets stronger. We saw this in the the video of that monk kickboxer who um, 
you know, basically braces there and lets the other guy punch him in his face as hard as he can, like 10 times, and doesn't get knocked out at all. And what you can see is you can see him with his mouth closed and his tongue pressed up on the roof of his mouth. So mewing is good for neck strength. But what mewing is not good for is actually expanding basal bone. That's where artificial expansion comes in, MSE, double jaw surgery, or similar. Once we have the space, we can then actually mew with good effect. We can retain that growth. But even after we do adult orthodontics and we expand our jaws using MSE or similar, we still need to keep our retainer after the fact because we cannot get greedy and think that we're going to somehow mew our mouths even bigger after we finish our artificial expansion or even that our tongue alone can serve as a retainer. Okay, most of us have issues, guys, with tongue posture. And while MSC and expansion makes it better, we're never going to be, you know, a caveman who's able to have that perfect harmony between tongue and facial structure. You're always probably going to need a little bit of outside help in the form of a little bit of a wire or some type of clear aligner retainer or something like that. I know I plan on wearing a retainer probably for the rest of my life when I'm done with all my orthodontics and you should probably plan on doing the same for all of the reasons discussed in this video. Kind of a controversial take, I get it. I know some of the more hardcore viewers are gonna be, um, maybe take issue with this video. Let me know in the comments below, all right? If you disagree, let me know why. What's your experience been after you removed your retainer? I'm curious, because most of what I've seen is collapse. So. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video, uh, maybe next week. All right, be easy. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Peace.